Hi guys, welcome to Future Recap. Today, I am going to explain a French dystopian sci-fi film called, Ares. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie is set in the future where France tries to keep its people from being distracted enough not to rebel over their crippling poverty, by engaging them with a violent TV competition show. In the near future, the world order changes. France's economy collapses, and corporations buy its debt. More than 15% of France is unemployed, and living in squalid homeless encampments, which is the largest being under the Eiffel Tower. Although, still nominally a democracy, the corporations take control of the government and pass sweeping reforms, deregulating many industries. Among these changes, doping and human experimentation are legalized. As homelessness and unemployment rise, violent new sports are introduced. Athletes become sponsored by pharmaceutical companies, which test their new drugs on them. After a promising start, boxer Reda, who fights under the pseudonym Ares, is injured and loses his corporate sponsor. Besides performing in brutal cage matches as a low-ranked fighter, he takes jobs for a female corporate agent Altman, with whom he has a relationship. On the other hand, the corporate-run police department hires unemployed temporary workers during periods of civil unrest, with Reda being one of the riot security guards on the front lines. During a riot, he notices his niece, who is an advocate of anti-corporatism, getting placed in a police van and he manages to get her released. In the meantime, when his sister Carla is framed for possession of an illegal pistol, Altman tells Rada that Carla will be charged as a terrorist, and the only way to save her from a prison sentence is to bribe the officials, which will take 100,000 euros. After hearing this, Rada becomes worried, and to raise the money, she is forced to submit to human experimentation for HSX, which is a drug that has killed every other test subject. Although corporate executive Anna assures him his biochemistry will likely allow him to survive the drug, but still, she warns that he will black out five minutes after taking it. After that, Rada leaves Carla's children with his neighbor, a cross-dressing prostitute named Myasotis, who believes that Rada is a fascist. Despite their antagonistic relationship, Myasotis agrees to help him for the sake of the children. Now, unable to bet on himself, Rada convinces Myasotis to bet Rada's meager life savings on the fight. After some time, seeing a need for a dramatic demonstration to spur sales, the CEO arranges for Rada to fight a highly ranked fighter, who has had his nervous system tweaked so that he no longer feels pain. The fight is widely believed to be impossible for Rada to win, and even his coach declines to bet on Rada. But the result turns out to be that HSX performs well, and Rada wins against 12 to 1 odds. Now, the drug becomes a sensation, and Rada makes enough money to free Carla. Now, before he can, she dies in prison while attempting to save another inmate. After that, Altman offers to return the money, but Rada asks her to use it to find out who framed his sister. At the same time, Anouk's boyfriend Boris, who is a hacker and supports the resistance, provides evidence that implicates Rada's coach. Rada once again leaves the children with Myasotis. During his next fight, Rada goes down in 17 seconds, and his earlier win is written off as a fluke. Things turn out to be a sales of HSX plummet, and Rada's coach is financially ruined. After that, while he meets with him, Rada reveals that he did not take the drug and intentionally threw the fight. Instead, he saved the drug to administer it to his coach, who quickly dies once he is injected. In the meantime, Anna finds Rada and tells him that she has ordered Altman to kidnap Carla's children. She further says that, although Altman truly does care for him, Altman cares more for money. Now, Rada reluctantly agrees to a demonstration in front of the corporate board. On the other hand, at Rada's house, Altman orders Anouk to call Myasotis. Anouk tells Myasotis that Rada wishes to thank him, which is a deeply uncharacteristic action. Now, suspiciously, Myasotis recruits Boris hacking talents for help. After that, Boris and Myasotis rescue the children and kill Altman. Once they signal Rada that they are safe, Rada takes HSX and throws the CEO out of a window. On the other side, Anna's bodyguards, who are two genetically engineered clones of the most powerful arena fighters, initially gain an advantage on Rada. However, Anna forbids them from killing him, as they need him for more drug trials. Handicapped by having to take Rada alive, but both die. After that, with the five-minute time limit running out, Rada considers assassinating Anna but instead assists Boris in remotely hacking into the corporation's mainframe. There, Boris uncovers proof that over 30, 000 plus people died in HSX's drug trials. Now, after knowing that his nieces will never be safe from the corporation while he is alive as patient zero, Rada commits suicide despite Anna's protests which destroys the future of the drug HSX. In the end, Boris hijacks the advertising, 
media display system and shows the extent of HSX's failed drug trials and Rada's death. At last, the death of Rada starts a movement against the corporate leadership of France and massive riots arise. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.